shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it does not smell like fish. Have the look, like you got that farmer look going. There we go. It's not terrible. Oh, oh poor fish. I mean, straight up, you gave that fish CTE. This video is sponsored by Shop Carl's. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Get yourself 30% off of most every bait in the store with a Shop Carl's membership. Again, link in the description, click that, go there, save some cash. Because the baits, I mean, they're the exact baits you're buying off the shelf. Might as well save money and get free shipping while doing it. Let's get into it. We got Duck Man over there, look at him. He's like got them duck waders on. Got them old frog togs. I'm in my summer waders. I've got the little actual boots. It's thinner, I'm a little cooler. But I think you look cooler. Like you just have the look, like you got that farmer look going. Right. Huh? Farmersonly.com. Farmersonly.com, yeah. Just telling you. That's how you that's how you get the link up with all them country girls. If you haven't seen that last video, I'm gonna go check that out. That's pretty good. Alright, so today's video, this is what we're dealing with. All of this. I shouldn't have done that. <coughs> does not smell like fish. <coughs> that's muskrass. <coughs> or chara. Whatever you want to call it. It is actually, it looks like a grass, right? It looks like, it looks like a grass, but it is actually a non-rooting algae. So this is all in the pond. It runs from pretty much the center of the camera right there. That back corner, all the way around, all through here, all the way down there. And it's everywhere. That actually, all that pile just came off of the trailer. You can actually see it on the trailer right there. There's actually a bass right there. I don't know if y'all can see him. He's right there just swimming around. We actually just put this, these rocks in about three months ago and look at the grass or the algae already taking it over. Just, just piles of it everywhere. I mean, it goes all out through here. Wonder how deep I can go without getting flooded. Look at this. Look, I'm just gonna reach down here. Just, I can just grab handfuls of it all through here. I am almost up to my crotch and that, uh, that stuff is just below the surface. I mean, it's all through here. It goes out probably about 20 or 30 feet. Me and Chris both have rakes. We're gonna try to get as much of this out as we can by hand, and then, if we're able to, we're gonna do a little bit of fishing. I don't know if you're hanging out for fishing. Oh, you're here all day, well. Me too, kinda. Until my wife says, you know, hey, get home, because she wears the pants, I just wear the waders. The big thing with this stuff, if it was actually grass, I don't know that I'd have such a big problem with it other than the fact that it's super thick and it's hard to fish like a crankbait but it's not grass it's algae so it will deplete the oxygen level pretty quickly um, and I, we don't want the pond to turn over and us have a bunch of dead fish that we've worked really hard to keep so cookout. as much of this huh cookout yeah there'd be a big cookout it'd be floating everywhere it'd be easy to get to now, obviously we're not gonna be able to get all of it or even a fraction of it but if we can get a good bit pile it up on the bank and then we're gonna let those grass carp, which do eat this type of algae, um, try to finish off. We're just trying to get them a little bit of a head start because this stuff took over in about six months um, and it can quickly overtake a pond. So we've gotta get as much of it out as we can and then try to manage it from here. So Chris, you ready? All right. There we go. Guys, there's a bluegill right there that is bigger than some of the bass in here. Like that thing is huge. If I could catch you, holy crap, you got more meat on you. All right, well, I'm thoroughly tired now. How about you, Chris? Was that exhausting? Pretty sweaty. It was hot, too. We started at that little stick right there in the water. Chris worked that way. I worked this way. And uh, we got grass all up the bank, all up this bank, all the way to the... Uh, we got, let's be honest, we started giving up somewhere around here. And uh, we did, like, every other pass uh, rakes wide just because it's so heavy. I would say, how, much, how many pounds do you think of grass we got out of there, or algae? It's gotta be like six, seven. Hundred. Yeah, hundred. Pounds. Yeah. It's pretty heavy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's really heavy. 
So we got a lot of grass. It's actually algae though. That's really the problem. The stuff called char or musk grass, it's because it's got a musk to it. It's, it's kind of stinky. It smells a little bit like garlic. Um, if you have that in your pond, it's not a grass. It is actually an algae. It looks just like grass. It is a sub-emergent grass, so it's going to be just underneath the water line. It's going to grow on the bottom, real easy to come up. And uh, if you're going to uh, put some herbicide, or I guess it would be algae side on it, because it's, it's an algae, um, it will kill it. But if I do that, I need to not do it all at once. Like, I don't need to dump it in that part of the pond and wrap it all the way around. I need to just do that part, and then a couple weeks later, just do that part. And then this part do it in stages because what's going to happen is when that algae starts to die off and decompose it will deplete even more of the oxygen than it would if it were alive out of the pond and uh, you don't want to have all the oxygen be depleted all at once so you want to uh, sort of basically do it by death by a thousand blows basically you, you don't want to do it all at once because then you could hurt the fish so something I've considered doing buying it but I think we're going to try this with the carp first see how that handles it if we can just get it under control because we're never going to get it all out of here once it's in here it's in here it's never going to leave but we got to manage it so and it can overtake really really quickly like this was all in a year that all this popped up and happened so not great just put fish in a bass pond Brett it's simple just put bass in it put bluegill in it boom bass pond no work needed wrong those are lies it's a lot of work. It's just like managing land when you have a when you have deer plots. You gotta you gotta manage all of it. So me and Chris are actually gonna get in the old boat. We're gonna maybe do some fishing. I'm gonna get these waders off. I'm going to challenge you to most fish. Okay. Right. Whatever I use, something on that setup has to be bought from Shop Carl's. Okay. So I'm stuck with Shop Carl's stuff. Mm -hmm. You're stuck with whatever you want. Okay. Simple enough. Simple enough. Most fish wins. Sure. We got. Do we want to set a time limit or do we want to set a, just a number of fish? Like first one to however many. Probably needs to be time limit because we don't Probably. know what's going on out here. We haven't <laughs> been out here in like two months. We don't know what's going on out here. 2.30 right now. So we're in the heat of the day. Like Make this is on yourself. It's probably the worst part of, of day, the worst time of fishing. Like right in the middle of the day. Not for ponds. Not for ponds. You don't think so for ponds? You don't think they go deep and they just like the bite shuts off for a little bit and they wait till it cools off at night? Lies. I mean, ponds are easier than big lakes. I'll give you that. But I think they do shut off a little bit. Okay. We've seen that. Usually the shut off like between 10 and 12. Maybe. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just do fishing on YouTube, which basically means I'm not good enough to be a pro and um, I fake it. That's right? And that, that's what YouTube fishers, we just, we, we just fake it. I've got a, a bunch of Shop Carl's baits. I actually do have a bandit tied on, mm -hmm. but, but it's with line I bought at Shop Carl's. How about that? Is that, that counts, that counts. So if y'all see that, other than that, they're probably gonna be catch so baits. You can tie anything on it if that's the case. Bingo, Chris, that's how I set this up. That's how that works, homie. Let's give, let's give ourselves, you'll do an hour and a half. We'll do to what, four o'clock? Are you good with four o'clock? That's fine. So an hour and a half. Actually, I believe all of this line came from Shop Carl. So if you're wondering what line I'm talking about, I'm talking about Yozuri Top Knot. It has become my favorite fluorocarbon. And what I'm tying on now is the, uh, I forget the exact name of this bait. What is it called? The Hustler Worm. It's Carl's Amazing Baits Hustler Worm. It's a little curl tail worm. And a uh, watermelon red, which is like really good color when it's hot. <sighs> they came fish a worm. Look at all that. Can't even fish a worm. There's one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. It's not terrible. All right, buddy. Say goodbye. All right, so that did not work. I'm going with the hunch. A little Carl's Amazing Baits, the hunch, and a little shad pattern. Maybe that'll get bit. And I don't see us carrying this thing down a hill. That fish hit it on the fall. Got him on. Little baby. Little baby. But oh! he made it over the gunnel. <laughs> I'm, that counts as half a fish. That counts as half a fish. I mean, I made it. I was reaching for him. I don't think I can count that. I never touched him. Dang. I think I'm going worm and worm only from here on out. I got bit once. 
I did get him in the boat. Well, technically you didn't get him in the boat. I got him over the edge of the boat. When he fell off, where did he fall? He, well. <laughs> to the water. That was on the back swing. He swung in, then he swung back out. Oh, please have it. Oh, little baby. Little baby. Yeah, he never got the hook. He, he pulled it all the way down to the hook. I never even got him. Dang. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh poor fish. <laughs> Does that count? He hit the boat. No. Well, there was action happening around me, Chris. I don't know if you saw it, but there was a fish that came flying at me. Good gracious, look how paper thin this one is. This guy really needs food. He is, he's sickly looking. Yikes. That's Slim Shady. This is Slim Shady. I have not, right into the side of the boat too. Felt bad for that little guy. And no, he did not count. He was not over the, the side of the boat. He was into the side of the boat. <laughs> There's a big difference between those two. You see what I did there? Over and in, like over the side, into the side. That's, I mean, straight up, you gave that fish CTE. Like he's got it. Well, folks, that's gonna do it for today's vidya. It was a very anticlimactic one, but it was good to be back on the water. If y'all didn't know, I have been cooped up in my room at the house working from home and uh it's been kind of crazy y'all know i work at a university there's been a lot of uh, covid testing that's gone on and i write some of the programs to put that in our database to keep up with who's tested positive who's tested negative what's going on with the whole thing um because that's what i do i mean i'm a problem solver but the uh, problem i couldn't solve today was the fact that i only got one fish chris also only got one so we tied if you haven't already you need to go click the link and join shop carl's i mean it's where i buy literally I'd say 90% of my stuff. It's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Even though it was kind of anticlimactic, should have been a short one. Uh, but it was fun getting back on the water with Chris. Fun setting the hook on something. Even if it was tiny fish, undersized fish, uh, just, you know, what have. Hopefully we'll be getting back on the water as uh, things mellow out with my job here very, very soon. So hopefully the videos will pick back up and we'll start having fun again because it's been... It's been a drag, I'm gonna be honest with you. But if you did like the video, hit the like button. Hey, uh, go ahead, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the ding dong notifications. That really helps out my channel when you do stuff like that. And uh, leave a comment below. I mean, how did we get that little bit of a fish, that little bitty skinny fish, paper thin, with all the bait that we've got? And have y'all seen the grass problem we've got or the algae problem actually? Tell me what you thought about that in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. Later, guys.